we're down here today at North Pine Dam or Lake Samson Vale. We're going to show you how to catch some red claw. We're just using normal red claw pots, little opera house traps. We're going to use some potato as bait. As you can see, the water's very brown. We've had a lot of rain lately. There's quite a few red claw traps and pots out already. That's what all those boats there are. So we'll go and have a look, eh? We're just going to go across the dam at the moment. We're just leaving the bait ramp. On the way across, I thought may as well troll a little bass lure, see if we don't get anything. Even though I didn't catch any bass today, we do get them occasionally. This one I caught about a week ago. I'll just have to do a voiceover in this bit because the uh, sound quality was horrible because of the wind blowing in the microphone. These are the um, opera house traps we use. Very, very good. You get them for about 4 for $15 or 4 for $20 from somewhere like BCF or Amart All Sports. These little containers we use, we just get little containers and put a couple holes in them, or put a few holes in them so that they can't eat the actual food, they can smell it and that sort of thing, but they can't actually eat the food because once they eat the food, they can actually crawl out again and you don't get as many. We've seen it a few times where we put, or we, we, we pick up a pot where there's no food in it and there's absolutely no red claw at all. I like to use cable ties to keep the trap shut sometimes. It also helps uh, to let you know if the share farmers have been there or not. The holes in the traps where the red claw enter are usually very round and you can fit your hand in. I like to actually squeeze them down a bit so they're more egg shaped. It stops them getting out a bit more I think. looking for is areas that are quite close, you know, 8 to maybe 15 feet deep, even 6 feet deep. I'm looking for timber and structure in the water and this is where I'm going to throw me pots. The red claw like a lot of structure and I find that when the water level's rising in the dam there's a lot of them in the very shallow water. So we'll throw it out right around here somewhere. We'll go throw the other seven that we've got out because I've got two people in the boat today and as I said you're allowed to have four each. So we'll go throw the other seven out. We might go for a troll, troll some lures for about 20 minutes and we'll come back and check the first one. We'll see how we go. As you can see we're looking for structure and trees again. We'll drop another pot just here. Now the pots have to have the name and address on them. As you can see, you've got the name and address on there on a tag, and the floats have to have at the very least your name on them, which is on there somewhere. There we go. All right, we've been gone just over half an hour, and we'll see what we get in this first one, eh? One little one. Oh well, not a good, not a good start, but we'll see how we go with the others. Oh, that's much better. That's what I like to see. This is the second one that we brought in.
have only been in for what, half an hour and it's the middle of the day. I can taste them already. This is the last one on the first time we've checked them. Again, they've been in for about half an hour. We've had a mix, mixed food, probably got about 50 so far, which is pretty good. There's been some really big ones in amongst them. Let's see how many we got in this one. Absolutely none. Right, there's a little one. As you can see so far, we've checked the pots about three times and um, the old live bait tank's nearly full already. Some of them grow quite large, which is great to see. Ooh, yeah. I wouldn't mind a few more like this one. He's got some nippers that you wouldn't want to get, you think of him. He wants to get more. Eh? This is a catch after about three hours work today. As you can see, we've done quite well. I think there was about 120 here or something. You can catch these yourself just by going down to the dams. Most of the dams have red claw in them. And just throw your opera house traps off the just off the bank. And throw them in, dispose in, throw them in. Check them about half an hour to an hour later, and I'm quite sure you'll have some decent sized red claw. Let's go and have something to eat.